Hey, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to Love and Hip Hop Season 11, Episode 17 Review. Today we're going to jump into the episode where um, Carly Red and Erica Banks really get into it, you know, where Erica Banks um, finally was also released from her label and things like that. So we're going to jump into all of it. But first the episode starts out with Chaotic with this goddamn toothpaste on his face. If Chaotic don't take that goddamn toothpaste off of his face, me and him going to have a problem, all right? But y'all know, like, if you're black, you know that's what people be doing when they got a pimple. They be putting some toothpaste on their on they face. I don't think it works, but if it works, then whatever works for you. Now... There was a scene in the beginning where Erica Banks was invited to something, an event, and Carly Red announces that the um, the owner of 1501 is her boyfriend. And immediately Erica Banks was thrown off and was like, "Uh uh-uh, no, 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 no. And I feel like in that emotional charge, Erica Banks released her true feelings about him, right? And was just like, hey, like, this is how I feel. Like, you really need to get to know this guy. Like, make sure he's not selling you a dream because I've been down this road. So I feel like she was being authentic, right? And I feel like Carly Red didn't take it in the right way. I feel like Carly Red just felt like someone was trying to shit in her pie. And it's just like, that's not what she's doing. She's just trying to be real with you. Moving on from that, there was the egg situation, right? Between Handy, her cousin, Mendices. And I'm like, the egg situation, like, I don't even, like, for me, it's just like, I don't even know why this is even a storyline. Like, no shade to Yandy, no shade to Mendices. Like, they're good. I think the mom storyline is a better storyline than this whole ex storyline. Like, figure out what y'all are going to do. If my husband would have said no, that the answer is no. Because my husband, my man said no. You know what I mean? But that's just me. Um... Now, Ciara's grandmother passing away. My condolences to Ciara. I feel like Ciara is a good friend because even at the, um, even at that after event for her grandmother's celebration, she was still there supporting Rennie in a time where she needed support, right? So I feel like Ciara is a good friend. And I kind of expected to see the other girls there at, um, the event for Sierra's grandmother, but you know what? They may have their reasons why they didn't show up. Um, now back to Carly Red and Erica Banks. Carly Red and Erica Banks. So in the beginning, you have that moment where Erica, it, Erica Banks is really pouring out her heart, saying, "Hey, this man is no good. This man is no good." I think Carly Red, and this is where the shady and messy Carly Red comes out. The Carly Red that Spice doesn't really like. The Carly Red that people say can be very um, throw the Rocky and hide your hand kind of kind of Carly Red. So Carly Red starts to, I feel like, poke her nose in. Erica Banks' business at that event, at that second event that they had by going up to Chaotic. And it's like, oh, Chaotic, you was in the Bahamas on Amy. Chaotic this. You're going to pay for the video? Chaotic that. And I think she already knew what was brewing behind the scenes with Erica Banks, decided to leave her label. And she just wanted to poke holes and poke holes and poke holes and poke holes. And I feel like when she threw that dig... At Erica Banks, like, oh, you don't even know your man because your man was all over Amy and Bahamas or whatever. I think that was the that's the Carly Red that is very pretentious in the beginning, Miss Nicey, Nicey, Nicey. But when her feelings get hurt, whether you intentionally hurt them or not, which in this case, I don't think um, Erica Banks intentionally hurt them. She tries to intentionally hurt you by throwing the rock and hiding her hands. So I really didn't like what Carly Red did in that second scene. Um, Mendice's mom apology song. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Literally the highlight of the entire episode. I love Mendice's mom. She seems cool. She seems funny. Keep her around if Yandy and Mendices are going to stick around. But the baby storyline, I feel like that storyline is dead for me. But anyway, um, stick around for episode 18. Laters.